restores the water balance of the United States so we don't have a food shortage. It just also reverses the long depletion of water resources of the Western Plains, for example. We have been drawing down the water reserves of the Western Plains by pumping without putting anything back in to restore those water supplies. The control of weather through the control of water in this mechanism. For example, we had recently a case where we had first a mass massive flood of water accumulated in a basin defined by the Ohio, Mississippi, and Missouri rivers. That, that area is still affected by this. There are some parts that are immune, but in general the entire area is affected. So therefore you have t two questions. The water supply of the Western Plains in general. You have the recent flooding problem in the north of the United States going into Canada. You have also the vast drought which hit subsequently in the summer, spring and summer months of this year in another part, southern part of the United States. So what Namapa will do among other things will create a water balance, balancing system to a system of canals, other connections which bring the entire water system of that part of Canada, the United States, and northern Mexico into a system with an augmented amount of water. Because Nawapa will mean an augmentation of the sheer mass of water available. It also means through the distribution system a minimization of the misdeployment of the available water supplies. As LaRouche discussed in the weekly report, we can deal with these extreme threats of drought and flooding with Nawapa. Nawapa will create the type of water balancing system that not only distributes water evenly for our needs, but will be part of a noetic balancing and tempering of the planet that's consistent with a progressive evolutionary process. We could say that we have to help nature to bring herself into harmony. We've come a long way since the old earth days of a hot, acrid environment where oceans were too hot to swim in, volcanoes dominated the terrain, and the low oxygen atmosphere only supported very simple forms of life. Then, the advent of green plant life began to temper the Earth's climate, distributing water to dry regions and cooling them, making them more suitable for animal and plant life. Trees moistened the air, and roots helped to create soil that further sustained plant life. The greening of these land areas further tempered the climate by bringing more rain. Deserts produce thinner, weaker clouds, or even none at all, while over densely wooded areas, thick rainy clouds are formed. While plants prepared the way, humans have a much greater potential to aid these plants in the distribution of water than they do themselves. Furthermore, this tempering of the system by a more even distribution of water equalizes extreme temperatures and mitigates severe weather. Extreme weather is caused by the convergence of opposite temperature, pressure, and moisture conditions. So, for example, a front may be formed when a cool, dry air mass meets a warm, moist air mass. The extremes of the hot, dry Sahara Desert converging with the cooler, rainy, and green equatorial region of Africa, including the cool Gulf of Guinea, converge to create a wind stream called the African Easterly Jet over the Sahel. This system forms what are called African Easterly Waves, long waves that move with the trade winds from Africa across the Atlantic. Similarly, the convergence of the extreme wet monsoon southwesterlies with dry northeasterlies is proposed to generate West African squall lines. These are chains of thunderstorms hundreds of miles long, which are the largest and rainiest systems observed over land. The coincidence of these systems is thought to be the cause of most, if not all, Atlantic hurricanes. But human intervention to harmonize water on two continents through the greening of the Sahara and the construction of Nawapa would no doubt have a major impact on the climate. So, as plant and animal life began the work to temper these extreme conditions on Earth, human beings must continue it.